Friedler from the Spectrum Protect Snapshot Development Team. In this video series, I'd like to give you some detailed insight on a new feature in Spectrum Protect for VMware version 416, the parallel offload. As you might know, the Spectrum Protect family can be configured to automatically offload your snapshot-based backups to a Spectrum Protect server using a data mover. Now, in version 416, we can offload multiple backups in parallel when having configured more than one data mover. So if you want to shorten your backup window and increase the throughput of your backup offloads, this video series will show you how to do that. The four parts in this video series demonstrate the setup, configuration and usage of the new feature. In the first part you are watching right now, I give you a short introduction into the new feature. In the second part, I will show you how to configure and use multiple data movers. The third part will cover the configuration of multiple ESX host clusters for parallel offload. And finally, the fourth part will give you some ideas how to create backup schedules in the Spectrum Protect GUI and monitor the status for these tasks. Find the links for the other parts of this video series in the video description below. Now let's zoom in and take a look at the new feature. First, let me give you an overview about the parallel offload feature. For the offload setup, we usually have a vStorage backup server, which can be on a physical server or a virtual machine. On that I've installed Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware that is able to create hardware snapshots of my VMware data stores and virtual machines. A Spectrum Protect data mover that comes along with the Spectrum Protect backup archive client. And this component is able to request and execute offloads of my snapshot based backups to a Spectrum Protect server. The data mover is mapped to an auxiliary host on my vCenter server. That auxiliary host is used during offload operations to temporarily attach the snapshot based backups to it. The Spectrum Protect GUI that can be used to configure my Spectrum Protect environment and to create backup offload schedules. It can also be used to monitor the status for everything that's going on in my environment. The Spectrum Protect server is installed on a separate machine and manage the backup that I offload for long-term retention. Now, if I want to use parallel offload, I need more than one data mover. Most effectively, these data movers are on separate systems to reach a better performance. However, they can also be on the same system. Each data mover can be used by one backup offload schedule task. The data mover is mapped to a certain ESX host. With version 4.1.6, you can now define mappings for each data mover separately instead of having only one auxiliary ESX host like in earlier versions. Once a backup schedule started, you can use the recent task view in the Spectrum Protect GUI to monitor the status for these tasks. Of course, you can also see the status of all tasks that run in the past. So far for the introduction. You could now move on to the next parts of this video series to get more detailed information.